So I bought a hydraulic tilt for my tractor so I could tilt the bucket because there's nothing on my property that's flat. So this allows me, this will allow me to do things, you know, like get my bucket even with the ground or to just put a bit of a, a tilt on a piece of ground or you, when I'm using it with forks, be able to actually get the forks tilted so they'll go underneath something. But when I first hooked it up, I'm running it off of my third arm, which is just a solenoid valve to the hydraulics off and on with a button. And this is how it, it reacted. All right, so you can see from that that there was no way I was gonna be able to control this bucket, you know, get it exactly where I need it to be. So I bought a restrictor and here's what it looks like. Okay, so this is what we're gonna to use to fix our problem. It's just a fitting that goes in line and it couldn't be simpler. It's just got a tiny little hole in it. That's a 1 32nd hole. So it just slows down how fast oil can move through there. And you just need one of these. Uh, it, it's a double acting cylinder. So if you put it on one side, it's gonna slow down the oil as it comes in. And then when the other one activates, it'll slow the oil going out. So either way, it's gonna slow down the flow. So just one of these will do the trick. I think it was about $10. Okay, so I had the restrictor installed. And so now let's see how it reacts. All right, so as you can see, it's much better now. I would actually like it if it was even a little bit slower. And I don't know if I put two restrictors, one on each side, if it would make any difference or not, but um, it's working like it is. Let me show you uh, how I've got, where I've got the restrictor installed. Okay, so here's where my third arm hydraulics come out. And of course, being a third arm, it's just a solenoid valve, so it's off and on, right? So that's why you need the restrictor, because you can't ease a valve or something like that with this. So that restrictor is right here. And so I put 90 degree uh, angles on here because the, when it wasn't on there, the hoses were sticking out with the couplers and all out to about here, and then the hoses wanted to continue out. And so putting the 90 degrees on there allowed me to uh, turn it this way. And what I've done, see right here, the hoses are uh, very long. And so I've wrapped them around the beam right here. And so far that's working really well. I've just got to be careful, you know, that I don't get tension on them as they go in and out. So this is what I'm using right now and it seems to be working. Okay, so that restrictor and the 90 degree elbows, I got those both at Tractor Supply Company. I'll try to see if I can find them on Amazon. If so, I'll link them in the description for you, but I'll also put um, these in the description for you this so you can get them at TSC um, if that's what you need to do. Hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.